might have largely managed to weather the GFC, but today experts are warning we could be headed for a mortgage crisis of our own making. Cast your minds back to America circa 2007. <laughs> Barack Obama ran on a message of hope. Rihanna became the face of wet weather accessories. And the subprime mortgage market triggered a global financial crisis. Put very simply, the GFC came about when banks gave loans to people who simply could not afford to pay them back. Workers on minimum wages, people without jobs. Now, fast forward to Australia today. While Aussie banks haven't gone as far, they've been flying pretty close to the sun. Banks took on too much risk by extending these interest-only loans, especially on owner-occupied properties, your homes. And the repayments could now go up 63%. So how do these interest-only loans work? To make it simple, we'll get Tommy to explain. Imagine you want to buy a house. Sorry, guys, that's as far as I got. This stuff is really complicated. Uh, OK, Tommy, I think I'll take it from here. Interest-only means you're not making a dent in the loan, just keeping it at bay. That interest-only period usually lasts about five years. And when that expires, you have to start paying back both the interest and the principal. So, say you've got the average Aussie mortgage of $400,000. Interest-only repayments are around $1,267 a month. But that'll jump to more than two grand a month overnight. Regulators have started really cracking down on how banks lend. It's getting harder and harder for people to get loans. But if they're coming off interest only, they might need to. It's estimated if repayments go up by even $60 a month, around a million Australians won't be able to service their loan. So what happens if they simply can't afford to repay their debts?